Um, I went off to college and I got my degree from ASU and then I stayed at home. I had children and as I saw my kids getting older, I realized that it's my time to go into something that I've always wanted to do, which is fly, so I just went after it. My typical day as a CFI includes um, setting the schedule for the week, either a flight, a sim, or a ground for each one of my students on a daily basis. At ATP, we like to emulate what the student is going to see at the airlines. So we like to keep a standardized checklist, um, structured curriculum, and standard crew procedures. Even though ATP has a standardized instruction program and the way that we do things, I personally tailor the way that I teach each and every student based on how they learn and how I teach. I have continued to become more proficient and my experiences have broadened because I'm working on a daily basis with different students who experience different things at different airports at different times. Being a CFI is a critical part for me to becoming an airline pilot. I've learned so much and I've increased by leaps and bounds my um, confidence as a pilot and my proficiency. I wanted to become a flight instructor because you're able to build so many hours in a short period of time and you get to see all different aspects of aviation. I can have a private pilot student learning VFR. I can have instrument rated pilots learning IFR flight. So I get an all well-rounded aspect towards aviation. The habits I instill in my students are the ones that I hope that they can carry out through their full career all the way up to professional aviation. Uh, there's a lot of responsibilities that CFIs have, not only to me, but also to the students that I teach. Um, in the plane, not only are we responsible for you know, collision avoidance and being situationally aware of where we are, but we also need to provide adequate instruction to our students during that time as well. I enjoy a lot of things being an instructor. Um, I think seeing progress in a student, um, you know, maybe taking someone up for an intro flight flying for the first time, Seeing the experience that, that I had a couple years ago in their eyes, it makes me really appreciate what I do. I became a flight instructor because I wanted to teach the next generation of pilots. I have a lot of respect for the instructors that I've had throughout the program and the help that they've given me and I wanted to pass that along. Uh, so to be a CFI, I think it takes someone who's patient. Uh, you have to be willing to give up controls and let your students learn and knowing when to step in and when to let them make the mistakes. And then um, a good knowledge base and skill set as well. I think the responsibilities that CFIs have to themselves is to continue learning and to expand your knowledge base. And then with your students, giving them the best knowledge that you can and um, allowing them to make the mistakes and room to grow, but ultimately keeping them safe as well. So I think becoming a CFI is an important step in this journey to become an airline pilot. Um, I work with more than one student. They have different personalities. Um, they come from different walks of life. And so it's helping teach me better communication skills and teamwork skills inside and outside of the cockpit. What I enjoy most about being an instructor is um, seeing my students succeed. I love when they're able to accomplish something and move forward and just seeing how excited they get, it makes me just as excited as if it were myself. Uh, my career goals are to ultimately go to major airline. So right now I am building my hours here at ATP as a flight instructor. I'll go on to regional for a couple years and then eventually to a major airline.